And you know, I fancy, yeah. What were you singing, Donald? Nothing. You were imagining things like you always do. I could have sworn you were. Okay, gentlemen, enough arguing. You know we have very important business to attend to today. For real. You're just embarrassed I caught you singing your favorite song. But yeah, facts, we should get started. Alcohol Free is a very solid title track in my opinion. I think it belongs in top tier. Yeah, I'll have to agree on this one. Yeah, I agree this is straight facts. But I would say even then, it doesn't crack my top five. You know what does crack my top five? Formula of Love. That is straight up the best album of all time. I agree it's a really good album. But saying it's the best of all time might be going a bit too far, Joe. It's a top five twice album at best, and we are ranking title tracks, not album Sleepy Joe. Okay, we'll make a compromise and put it in A tier. Look, how do you guys feel about the feels, though? I understand why some people may find it slightly annoying, but I, for one, absolutely love this song. For their first all-English single, this was definitely a banger. I agree. I also love the music video for this song. It reminds me of my prom night. You know, I remembered this story where... Okay, anyways, time for the best title track on this list. Obama, you're getting ahead of yourself. We have the Christmas song next. Okay, this is one of the less popular songs. Not a bad one by any means, but it just doesn't stack up to the other ones. Put it in C tier. We need to spread out our tiers more. Facts. Okay, we might as well get another lesser known song out of the way with more and more. This was a pretty tough era for twice in the world as it was during quarantine. I will say I really liked how the members all dyed their hair different colors. I wasn't a big fan of the dyed hair. You're one to talk. Okay, we'll put it in B tier. I do agree, I miss Mina with blonde hair. Obama, we promise not to start talking about biases. I could talk about sauna all day. Uh, I agree, we don't want to start another civil war. Okay, sorry guys, time to rank fancy. Best work of art in human history, no question. I have to agree on this one. I spent like $2,000 on front row tickets for their last world tour, and seeing this song live made my entire life worth it. Okay, well now it's time for the song I was talking about earlier. The best title track. Can't stop me. Cap. I don't know, Trump. I always listen to I Can't Stop Me in the Gym. It makes me feel like I cannot be stopped. Fancy literally saves lives. The music video and choreography are also immaculate. I will admit I started listening to it when the 2020 results came in. Anyways, I think we can all agree Feel Special is top tier. Yeah, this era was straight up legendary. Who could forget that live performance they had at Mama Truly Made Me? Feel Special? Okay, cheer up. This is a true classic. I think as their second title track ever, this one really started to cement them as my favorite group. Easy top tier. And the iconic chorus, cheer up, baby, cheer Please up, baby. Please stop trying to sing. You sound like a robot. Okay, I put cheer up in top tier. But now it's time to discuss Signal. I will say the intro may sound a little annoying as well as some of Momo's parts in the song. But after the first 20 seconds, this song is absolutely top tier. I have to agree. Melania even got me this poster from that era. I put it in A tier due to the beginning, but what do you guys think about Dance the Night Away? One of the most beautiful songs ever made. They ended their encore concert by playing this song and shot fireworks, and it made me cry. Um, yeah, okay, same, I, I was there. Top tier. Wait, Donald, you were there? You didn't hear anything. Okay, anyways, like, ooh, ah, uh, was twice his first song, and it's pretty solid, but for the love of God, Donald, do not try singing it. I'd put it in A tier, but I can see why some may put it lower as twice was still finding their form. I think it marking twice his beginning was very important in all of our lives. I've been trying to make the date this released a national holiday, but Congress hasn't supported it yet. I'll put it in the top of B tier. Okay, Cry For Me is an easy top five lock on any real Twice fans list. I personally agree. The overall tempo and vibe of the song are nearly unmatched and may have single-handedly saved the world from the pandemic. Easy top tier. I will personally never forget listening to this for the first time live at the Encore concert. Wait, were we all there? Anyways, I think it's about time we ranked TT. I believe this is the music video with the second most views on YouTube. And rightfully so. This is one of the most catchy songs of all time. I think we may need to put it in A tier because we have too many songs in top tier. You can't possibly... I'll have to agree on this one. We can honestly make arguments for putting most of these songs in top tier. But for the sake of diversity, I'll put it in A tier. Absolute malarkey. Did you guys hear that Sebastian C. is going to live stream himself? Please shut up. Thanking every subscriber personally on June 24th of this year? We don't care. I'm going to try to get all my followers to subscribe, so that live stream will be 10 hours long. It'll be so funny. We know this so guy funny. probably paid you off or something. Please just let us continue. I'll consider subscribing because I find his videos funny, but Joe is right. We should get back to business. Knock Knock is a solid song, but is a little repetitive and doesn't have the same impact as the top tiers, I think. I agree, but the B-sides on this album are absolute bangers. Uh, I especially love ice cream. I'll put it in B-tier. I'ma be honest, I don't know this next one. Fake fan. 
Okay, since this is a democratic system, I'll make a new tier since we can't all give our opinion on it. I bet you haven't even listened to any of their Japanese albums, have you, Donald? How dare you accuse me of being a fake fan? I love their Japanese songs. Donut and Strawberry Moon are absolute bangers. I have been listening to twice since day one. I have been too. What do you think I was listening to on the 2016 campaign trail? Gentlemen, gentlemen. Catch me in 2024. We are almost done. It's time for What Is Love, the music video with the most views on YouTube. I will say this music video is an absolute national treasure. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't listened to this one as much. I think I'll put it in A tier. Don't you dare. What Is Love is in my top three. I understand, but we simply have too many songs in top tier. I think I'll have to make an executive decision and put it in A tier. I'm using my presidential veto. Put it in top tier. Okay, okay. Now lastly, what do you guys think about Yes or Yes? I personally love the English intro by Mina. I'd say this song is the perfect blend of the old and new twice. I think the choreography and overall vocals of this song are some of the best from the group. Uh, I don't know, guys. Barack, biases aside, Mina absolutely owned this era. How could you not put it in top tier? Straight facts. So did, like, all of the members. Okay, I understand, but I'll have to put my bias aside for the moment. Have you guys heard the English translation of this song? The lyrics are pretty whack. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I say A tier it is. Facts. Still a banger, though. Okay, gentlemen, do we have any adjustments we want to make to the list? No changes are needed. I think we did pretty well. Now I gotta head out. I must catch up on the latest episodes of Time to Twice. See you, Joe. Okay, yeah, I think we did pretty well, but I think there might be one or two little changes I may want to make in here, though. Uh, okay, bye, Donald. Bye.